today is, uh, what is today, the 12th, June 12th, it's uh, 7.42 in the morning, and um, I'm headed to Tampa to get an MRI on my brain. Uh, I originally wasn't going to do this, as you all know, I've been taking that metal zone, it's a main ingredient, a dog dewormer, and uh, I got out of hospice, I got healthy, started lifting weights, went back to work. And the doctors want to see what's going on with my brain. They keep bugging me. So they called me a couple weeks ago, and I agreed to take an MRI. I wasn't going to because, like I said, what's what's the point? They don't have any treatment for me. You know, it's terminal. So I just, each day I feel good, go to work, live my life. But uh, there's a part of me who really would like to know, maybe that stuff's really working and that tumor's going away or, or tumors or whatever. Or, or maybe he's gonna tell me, yeah, don't look good, you got three more. You know, I don't know. It's just kind of a strange feeling driving there today. I don't know how, exactly how I do feel. So. <laughs> well, here I am in the uh, bullpen before I go into the MRI. I'll see you inside. Well, here I am in the standby room, getting ready to uh, get an IV for my arm, and then I go back into the big room, and uh, I start the MRI. We'll see if there's anything in here. What is the Okay. We got the, uh, uh, that's where they can put the dye in to take a look, see at my brain, see if there's anything in there. And um, I'll be back. Yeah, you're sitting here waiting. Still waiting. The waiting makes you crazy. I'll be going in that tube here shortly. And I wait. Hmm. You ever wait for something you just hate to do? This is it. <laughs> uh. This is my holding cell. I should be back here shortly. Now the red light means that it's recording, right? Yep. You got me. That was quite the party. And, uh, I don't plan on taking another one. Now those nosy doctors can find out what the dog dewormer's doing. Uh, I was in there for quite a while. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Fish Dana's with me today. She 
you notice I'm a sissy. I don't like this by myself. <laughs> you want me to drive? Uh, no, I got it. Oh, I, I don't, don't really want to say. I'm just I'm glad it's over. And uh, I'll say more when I get in the car. I wasn't going to do the MRI because I feel good. And you know, I take that dog to warmer stuff and I thought, as long as I feel good every day, why the hell should I go in there and get an MRI? And then the, he turns out, he says, hey, it's doing great. That thing's shrinking or isn't doing any better. Or what if he says, hey, there's a new tumor. You know, it would just crush me. But then I got to thinking, because they're calling me and bugging me. And when the doctors call you at your house, it's unusual. They really want me to get an MRI. So I decided to do it today. And I did it out of being not being selfish. Because this stuff does work. And he says, hey, the tumor's gone or something like that. That means that stuff works for this type of cancer. And that could help people. And that's why I did it. So that's it. Uh, going to head this bus back home. And... Uh, Thanks for riding along with me for my MRI adventure. See you down the road.